Meron nga tayong famous na kasabihan na if you don't want to get burned, don't play with fire. Okay? So keep yourself away from the temptation. Hello Rookies! My name is Doyne and welcome back to my channel. So before I begin, I would like to thank each and every one of you who watched and supported my previous video. I have received a lot of good feedbacks and comments from my transformation journey. You know, I read every, every one of them. Thank you so much. And it made me want to do more videos. Um, I'll, I promise to put up good content, okay? And I'll be better in the coming video. So, maraming maraming salamat po for all your love and support. Alright, so for today, um, I'll be doing another episode of Doi Talks. Okay, so I created this Doi Talks um, because I wanted to share my own personal experiences throughout my entire journey. Okay, the things that I've learned and the things that I'm continuously learning each and every day. Okay, um, now. For today, I'll be talking about how someone or how can we avoid overeating or binge eating, okay? Most especially ngayon, quarantine season, you know, wala tayong masyadong ginagawa. And we tend to overeat, alright? So today, I will list down 10 ways or 10 tips on how you can avoid overeating. Please be advised. That this information that I'll be sharing are solely based on my experience and my personal research. We have different body genetics. It might, it might not work for you. Well, it worked for me. It might not work for you. Okay, so it's your discretion if you will follow it or not. Okay, but I hope you at least try out. So let's begin. So number one is plan your day ahead. All right, that means you know. Kung ano yung gagawin mo kinabukasan, kailangan today, lista mo na siya. Okay? From the moment that you wake up and from the moment, from the time that you will sleep, kailangan nakalista na siya. Most especially, yung meal times. Kung kailan kayo kakain ng breakfast, ng lunch, and dinner. Why? Why is it important? Okay? Um, importante siya to avoid snacking. Alright? And to keep yourself busy. Kasi sa mga panahon na wala tayong ginagawa, yun yung mga time na we tend to snack or to eat uh, eat more alright kasi kung alam natin yung gagawin natin meron tayong itinerary for the rest of the day then mas madali para sa atin i-control yung hunger and yeah yun yung number one number two is to keep yourself busy okay na mention ko nga nung number one okay na kailangan we plan our day ahead number two we have to keep ourselves busy Kahit wala na tayong ginagawa or tapos na yung gagawin natin, intentionally maghanap tayo ng gagawin natin. Okay? Just to keep ourselves busy. Alright? Um, if tapos na tayo, let's say, mag maglaba, maghugas ng pinggan, then we, we grab a book, read, magbasa tayo, makinig tayo ng music, or um, manood tayo ng YouTube videos. Okay? Uh, mag-search kayo sa YouTube, puntahan nyo si Doi Fitness, and then i-follow nyo yung mga videos niya, panoorin nyo. Yun, at least, may worth, worthwhile yung each and every moment nyo. So, number three, if you are working from home, eh, kailangan you have to set up your station away from the kitchen or near the refrigerator. Alright? Meron nga tayong famous na kasabihan na if you don't want to get burned, don't play with fire, okay? So keep yourself away from the temptation, okay? Kasi yung left na yan, yung kitchen, it's a temptation. Temptation para kumain, okay? Kahit hindi naman tayo gutom, feeling natin nagugutom tayo pag nakakita tayo ng pagkain, alright? So, if, if you're working from home, set up your workstation in your room or in an isolated area, okay? But be sure, don't skip your meal. Kasi, it's very important that we still take our meals. Fourth tip is to sleep well. Okay? I know you have heard this in the past already. Uh, marami na kinarinig about dyan. Pero, totoo. Totoo siya. No? Kasi, it's backed up by a scientific study. 
that lack of sleep or sleep deprivation, um, there's a link between obesity. Okay, because it causes hormonal imbalance, specifically ng hunger hormones, which are leptin and ghrelin. So leptin, lept, ano ba leptin? So leptin, it's, it's the hormone that suppresses our appetite. And ghrelin, it stimulates our appetite. Okay, so if you will notice, if you lack of sleep, okay, pag puyat tayo, we tend to eat more because um, it sends signals to our brain na parang nag-deteriorate yung katawan natin. So, it sends signals to our brain that we need to store um, energy uh, to survive. Okay? Nasa survival mode yung katawan natin. Kaya, naglalabas siya ng maraming maraming ghrelin para mag-stimulate yung appetite natin at para kumuha tayo ng energy from food. Okay? Kaya tayo nag-crave ng pagkain. And if you will notice, di ba, if we sleep, sleep natin is 10 hours, 12 hours, hindi tayo na nagugutom. Pagising natin, dun tayo nagugutom. Kasi, di ba, when we sleep, our brain releases naman yung leptin. Leptin is the one, is, is the hormone that suppresses the appetite. Okay? Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, pagising natin kinabukasan, gutom na gutom tayo. Kasi, you know, our body, it's in a state na parang, ah, okay, wala namang gagawin yung katawan. So, parang, um, nag-release siya ng message na, okay lang, we still have enough energy and food um, to sustain or to keep the body survive. Okay? So, yun. Um, kaya, di ba, tinatawag na, um, the first meal of the day is breakfast kasi literally, we are breaking the fast. From the night sleep until the morning, Yon, wala tayong kinain. And number five is to manage our stress. Okay? So, wala na, hindi naman natin may iwasan yung stress. Laging nandyan yan. Stress sa family, stress sa work, stress sa love life. Diba? Every, everywhere. Especially ngayon. Uh, we're in a pandemic. COVID-19 pandemic. So, every everything around us is stressful. So, hindi natin siya may iwasan. Okay? So, ang gagawin na lang natin is to manage our stress. Alright? Kasi, um, same thing like kanina, um, lack of sleep, di ba? Ang, ang stress naman, um, it causes also um, hormonal imbalance, di ba? If we are stressed, it releases, you know, cortisol. Okay? Cortisol, ito yung stress hormone. Okay? So, tumataas yung stress hormone natin. So, Pag tumataas yung stress hormone, um, it signals our body na to eat more, to combat the stress. Alright? So, kaya yun, napapakain tayo ng madami pag, pag stress tayo. Diba? Well, iba-iba naman yung effect niya sa lahat ng tao. Yung iba, they lose appetite. But for more people, um, they, tend to, they tend to eat more. And paano nga ba may iwasan? How do we manage your stress? Alright? So, first is... You have to exercise, okay? You have to meditate, okay? Um, focus your attention sa ibang bagay rather than sa, sa stress itself. Kasi wala namang magagawa, nandiyan na yan, di ba? So we have to relax and distress ourselves, okay? We have to exercise, meditate, okay? If you love reading books, read books. If you love listening to music, you know, soothing music na makakapag-relax sa'yo, then do so, okay? If it's better for you to talk to someone, di ba? Talk to someone para may mapaglalabas ang ka ng problems. Or, um, just keep the positive attitude, okay? Yun na yung pinaka-simplest way on how you can combat stress. So, number six, if we eat foods, we have to eat properly, okay? What do I mean by it? So, most of the time, karamihan sa atin, if we eat, may hawak tayong cellphone, nasa harap tayo ng computer or laptop, Okay, so we have to avoid that. If kakain tayo, we have to focus ourselves on eating. Okay? We, we should not distract ourselves from eating. Kailangan dire-diretso lang tayong kumakain. Kasi, why? If we if we eat na may hawak tayong phone or nasa harap tayo ng PC or laptop, hindi natin namamalayan. Marami na pala yung nakain natin. Naubos na pala natin yung isang buong kaldero. Pero hindi pa tayo pusok. Okay, puto mo pa rin tayo. Kasi nga, yung attention natin nasa ibang bagay. Hindi natin 
um, by enjoying food. So if we eat, we have to enjoy our food and we have to chew our foods slowly. Number seven is we have to eat real foods. Ano nga ba yung real foods? Ito yung mga whole foods or unprocessed na food. Okay? Um, compared sa pagkain ng processed. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung definition nun? So, when we say real foods or whole foods, ito yung mga foods fresh um, or natural state with little to no preservatives. Okay? They are, are um, they have more nutrients. Mataas yung satiety level niya. So, feeling natin we are full if we eat these foods. Okay? Yung satisfaction level niya is mataas. Compared sa processed food, ito yung mga pagkain na with chemicals, okay, to preserve the food, okay, to extend to extend the lifespan of the food, to avoid spoilage, alright? And these foods, um, dahil nga may chemicals siya, and may maraming preservatives, malaki siya, pero empty in calories or less in nutrients. Ito yung mga instant, alright? So, uh, instant are you know ito yung madaling lutuin small small in portion they're easier to chew so hindi natin napapansin ang dami na natin kinain ang as na ng calories na na intake natin but we're still hungry all right compared sa whole foods di ba kung mapapansin nyo um they're hindi siya ganun daling kainin and number eight is avoid cheat days okay well i'm not against uh sa idea ng i-reward natin yung sarili natin, okay? Um, pero some, yung ibang tao kasi, well, I had the same notion before when I was starting about sa cheat days. Kasi what happened is, um, people, diet, di ba, mag-start sila ng diet. From first day one to day six, they will eat, you know, healthy foods, um, veggies, low carb, everything. Pero pagdating ng seven day, dun sila, mag increase Yun yung cheat day nila. Dun sila mag increase ng calorie at super spike siya. Yung trend niya is sobrang upward. Which means, parang nababaliwala yung denied mo the first six days dahil dun sa nag isang day na yun. Okay? At based sa study, you know, in order for you to lose um, 0.5 kilogram of fat, okay, or to lose weight or fat, kailangan meron kang 3,500 calorie deficit a week. Okay? So, if you do that, di ba, maglilose ka ng weight. Now, if you do cheat days, ganun yung pattern mo ng pagkain, di ba, then, masisira, sira din yung diet mo, baliwala din yung diet mo for the first six days, dahil dun sa one day na yun. Okay? Um, so, as much as possible, I encourage yung flexible dieting, you know, ako, um, per, ngayon, ganun na yung ginagawa ko na, um, I don't mind eating, you know, ice cream in a while or pizza, or, you know, every now and then. Basta pasok siya dun sa calorie, sa calorie intake ko. And I don't, now I don't um, limit myself, I don't restrict myself too much. ba? Kasi hindi naman ako magko-compete, hindi naman ako bodybuilder. So, yun lang, um, mas easier to maintain siya at sustainable kasi siya. And number nine tip is to drink plenty of water. Water is calorie-free and at the same time, um, it has a lot of benefits sa katawan natin. Not only it hydrates our body, but also it, met it boosts our metabolism. Okay? And also, it suppresses, it suppresses our appetite. And last but not the least, uh, number 10 tip na may bibigay ko sa inyo is self-control. Yun na siguro yung pinaka-last kasi um, Sometimes, you know, etong pagkain natin, sometimes hunger, it's all in the mind. It's a mind game, no? Um, minsan naisip natin, gutom tayo. Pero, are we really hungry? Gutom ba talaga tayo? Or we're just bored? Or wala lang tayong magawa? Or stress lang tayo? Kaya, yung dinidebate natin, yung attention natin from one thing to another. Kasi we want to, we want, we want to have that temporary escape. You have to have that commitment and dedication to yourself, you know, if you want to start this fitness journey. Diba? Um, it all begins in you. It all begins inside. Kailangan gustoin mo muna siya before it comes out. 
So those are the 10 tips na mabibigay ko sa inyo on how you can avoid overeating or binge eating. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated with the latest videos that I upload. So that's all for today, rookies. Thank you again for watching and for staying and have a great day. Bye-bye.